Hey Leo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Leo. So if you're a Leo sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, or if you have a stellium in Leo, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, it'll fly. Don't try to pause the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid. Roles can get reversed, so take how it resonates. So in this reading, if you're in no contact, no communication with this person, if there's a separation that has happened here, then this reading is going to be for you. We are going to do an energy check-in on this person. Knight of Pentacles. Can you see that? Okay. Two of Swords. Empress, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Okay, this was someone who um, they weren't ready to make a decision. They could have just kept you hanging there, just, just kept stringing you along, whatever this person, uh, string, stringing you along or just kept you stuck without making any sort of decision here. This could be someone whose heart is very, very blocked as well. It's almost like they refuse to let someone in. They refuse to be vulnerable. That's what this person, uh, like, this This is this person's energy here. Bottom of the deck, we have Ten of Cups, Nine of Pentacles here. And Nine of Pentacles, Two of Swords and Nine of Pentacles is someone who would much rather be single and uh, enjoy all the attention rather than um, go for commitment, go for, uh, sorry, there's a random hair on the table. Uh, rather than go for commitment, rather than um, settle with someone, this person would much rather like all the attention they get. But here's the thing. This is someone who wants to be happy, who wants to be with someone. This is someone who wants to be with someone, wants to be happy, but they, they're not ready for that commitment. You know, like, and even if it's an empress, it's almost like this person, uh, they knew your value. They knew your worth. They knew what you were like how much, what you are capable of. I don't know what, why I got what you're capable of. Like this person understood your worth, what you can be, your potential, right? That's what it meant. Uh, this person understood your potential, but they still decided to be unsure about this, be uh, like take you for granted or not make a decision here. be dealing with a Scorpio here we have Taurus and Scorpio which is counterparts to each other for some of you you could have really seen the potential we have the eight of wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck you really saw the potential of being happy with this person you really saw it you really saw look at that how the nine of pentacles is literally approaching this two of swords here you saw the potential of what can be possible here. You did feel a lot of happiness. You saw the potential. So with the Eight of Wands and Rivers, it's very possible you just missed out on some red flags here. You, you know, like you missed out on some things. You ignored some things about this person. You could have ignored yourself as well because, again, you were very loyal to this person, loyal to a default. It's very possible you were so loyal to this person that you even refused to see that this person was not making a decision. They, they were not treating you how you deserve to be treated. I got an energy. Um, this is what I got. Like you were fooling yourself some way or the other. 
more than this person fooling you, you were fooling yourself. I don't know why I got that, but you were fooling yourself that this person is going to change. You could have waited for this person to change. You could have seen the potential and thought this is possible. So this person will eventually see things. They will eventually change. It's just like right now, this person is just like that. And I'm also getting randomly, even if this person sort of, you were blinded. This feels like someone who's blinded. Even if this person told you like they were not sort of like ignored you, you know, like they were ignoring you. They were not paying you any attention. This person could have someone who, could, sorry, could be someone who did have their options and they just treated you like another option. They didn't give you what I got. They didn't give you the time of the day. And yet you were so invested and loyal to this person here. As I got, as I said, loyal to a default. That's what you were with this person. It's almost like you thought that this person can change. They have the potential to change. You know, when you fall for someone's potential, that's very possible what could have happened here. For some of you, what I'm also getting, this this might have well been a lesson that you were supposed to learn. A lesson on um, putting yourself first. Learning, knowing your worth, knowing your value. Not, not letting just anyone treat you like miserably. Not letting anyone treat you miserably. You might have felt maybe abandoned by this person as well. It's very possible this person could have just left you out in the cold or they sort of, I don't know, like this is someone who literally didn't care about you. That's what it feels like. They didn't care about you. Like, it's like someone who has an attitude almost. I don't know why I'm getting that, but this person almost had an attitude and they didn't care. been for some of you this person just left you hanging there as well you know like they, they could have disappeared they could have ghosted you or this person could have suddenly switched their energy it's very possible this person was doing the in and out thing as well like they would leave suddenly and then they would just return back because to this person like you are not going anywhere the empress knight of medics is a very um solid energy that's a very like um not solid exactly but i mean solid isn't the right word here it's a very stable yeah it's a very stable energy it's a very loyal energy it's also like kind of you know can be a bit of like very very nurturing very caring to the point that you sort of neglect things, neglect yourself, neglect to see certain things here, neglect to see the truth. It's very possible you had a blindfold on almost. You know, like you couldn't see this person for who they are or you couldn't see this connection for what it was. For some of you, you couldn't see the lesson you were learning. But here's the thing, if this person did ghost you or if this person abandoned you, it's it's almost like it's it's sort of, was a blessing in disguise for you because that abandonment this person did this person ghosted you abandoned you suddenly left you whatever this person did here that was a blessing in disguise because it sort of helped you get that perspective the distance helped like this person distancing themselves from you helped you get the perspective regarding this connection, regarding the situation, regarding what was going on. Like your perspective completely changed. For some of you decided to give to yourself as well. Like it's very possible again, as I said, this person created some distance or they were not treating you well, whatever this, like they were in and out, on and off sort of a thing here. And you decided to just, you know, like as a, as a form of like, 
you you could have been I, I don't know I'm, I'm getting it randomly I saw the nine of swords suddenly so you, you could have gone through a lot of sleepless nights anxiety not feeling good not feeling well I don't know what's going to happen next um panic attacks is also what I got so whatever you experienced here it sort of was a dark phase you went through but then you slowly started taking care of yourself you slowly started loving yourself you slowly started putting yourself first and the more you started doing that the more you sort of saw the picture clearly here it's almost like you this person distancing themselves sort of helped you get back with your divine feminine energy like uh, that feminine energy and understanding your intuition could have cleared up as well here if you felt like your intuition was very blocked and you couldn't see things clearly it's almost like this disconnect between the both of you helped you get some perspective here For some of you, you could have been very uh, anxious, as I said, the nine of swords, like the reason you were having this anxiety because you were so scared that this person is going to leave you once and for all. And what happens if this person leaves you, your dreams, your you are going to shatter. For some of you, you would really, really, you have, again, this might trigger someone, but you have some abandonment issues and this person triggered that. This person triggered some deep-seated abandonment issues that you had. And th that's the reason why you had that anxiety, sleepless nights, insomnia, dreading. Dreading. I don't know why I got dreading. Dreading the end. Like, like being very, very, very fearful about what this end is going to be or how this is going to end and how this will leave you all shattered. And how are you, how are you going to get, get up? get up again or get back up again what is it what is it you know like get back stand up again let's say stand up again yeah this person for some of you really you really have some trauma abandonment issues trauma could be from a past relationship could be from childhood and this person did trigger that but here's the thing, bottom of the deck, we have eight of wands in reverse, high priestess, strength, which is your card. Yeah, see, you are finding the strength to walk away from things that are not, uh, like, not just things. From a connection, from this person that, that wasn't really paying you any attention, that, that didn't care about you. You're finding the strength here. Also, why can't I just, okay, yeah. Uh, so also we have the high priestess and the empress both are divine feminine energies here you could be dealing with the pisces cancer scorpio leo taurus libra yeah you are finding the strength to walk away from this connection that was very unfulfilling for you this was disappointing and this is what you could have been very, very scared of. And it's very possible you struggled with letting go of this person, letting go of this connection as well, because you could have been very, very emotionally invested in this connection with the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. It's almost like you saw the potential of this Ten of Cups. Hence, it was very difficult for you to just, well, you are Leo, you are fixed fire. So there is going to be some stubbornness. There might, uh, it's, it's, it, it's, it is difficult for fixed signs to accept changes very easily. So that's, it's very possible that was it. But yeah, this uh, this person also triggered some abandonment issues. But with the strength here, you're finding the strength to overcome those abandonment issues. The, no wonder I got that energy of you were supposed to learn some lesson here from uh, this connection, from this person. Whatever they did to you, you were supposed to learn some lesson here. And that this, uh, uh, clearing this abandonment, not clearing, working on this abandonment issues finding the strength to overcome this abandonment issues was very possibly for some of you the lesson you were learning here could be different for different i mean the lesson you were learning could be different for different people but for some of you i'm, I'm do i am getting that abandonment issue here So we have the two of cups for some of you this is literally you walking towards your wish fulfillment and your wish fulfillment is love a new soulmate 
because he he's leaving this eight cups behind and moving towards the ninth cup the ninth cup then um, nine of cups is wish fulfillment and your wish fulfillment here is that soulmate so it's very possible you have been looking for a soulmate you have been looking for a soul connection for the longest time but you you were just not you just couldn't find it, it it's, this is also what i'm getting here for some of you you really want you really wanted to be with the soulmate and you thought this was it this this person was your soulmate so that is why you invested or over invested or over gave or did whatever or was taking this person's bs uh, towards you but you letting go is finally you releasing and healing that abandonment issues is finally allowing a new soulmate back into your life not back into your life a new soulmate in your life okay back into your life Ah, yeah, could be a past life connection you are manifesting for some of you because we do have the two and the eight of cups. So we have the six of cups in the mix. Six of cups does talk about a past life connection. So yeah, you very possibly could be manifesting someone from your past life. Hence, I got like back into your life. So yeah, you could have met this new soulmate uh, already here. So yeah, the moment you release this person, the moment you heal yourself, the moment you heal this abandonment issue that you had you learn this lesson here and integrate it that's that's the moment you are ready to manifest that soulmate you're ready for that love you have always been looking for all right okay okay 16 minutes in. see that okay six of swords okay hmm. <laughs> what are the deck is five of pentacles and ten of swords here six and ten of swords we have the four of swords in the mix the four of swords does talk about silence the four of swords is also uh, this person very well could be dreaming about you thinking about you especially late at night this person can't help but is what i got flashbacks um they can't help but like they, they, this person gets flashbacks of you or flashbacks of the memories you both shared together that, that kind of energy If you have blocked this person or if you are energetically letting this person go see we are all energetically connected to each other and especially if you have shared a deep bond with this person or if you were like physically intimate with this person then you do you still a lot of times you are still connected to that person the uh, like we need to really disconnect that cord only then that connection is like uh, gone anyways uh, so it's very possible this person is picking up on your energy. So um, I am getting that energy of this person picking up on, on your energy. And here's the thing. It's almost like you blocking this person or you pushing them away. This person literally feels a change in your energy, a shift in your energy. You know, and the because this person is feeling the shift in your energy, that is why this person feels this five of pentacles and ten of swords here. I'm really focused on like it almost feels like you know like someone is trying to run away because they are all covered up and hiding their face although the traditional meaning is very different of it but I don't know I'm getting the energy of yeah this person could have ran away I mean could have abandoned you basically but yeah um here's the thing this person left abandoned and they thought that they are going to be fine they are going to be able to manifest whatever they want but in reality this person is not able to manifest whatever they want also if for some of you if this person is the one that has blocked you then this person is really regretting that decision they have made there they're re regretting the choice they are regretting the decision they have made they know they ha they have made a wrong decision to abandon you to block you whatever the decision was this person knows they have made the wrong decision here i 
This person could be also with the five of pentacles, could be experiencing some sort of financial loss as well. Like they, uh, hardship, they are facing some sort of hardship, if not outright financial loss. Some hardship this person is experiencing, some difficult uh, phase they are going through. And because this person is going through a difficult phase, it is sort of reminding them of you. It's very, this is what I'm getting. This person is feeling very, very lonely alone. This is someone who's going through a difficult phase and they are feeling very lonely and alone. And because they are feeling this loneliness, feeling this alone, they'll really miss how you were a rock for them. That's what I got. Like you were there for them. You were a rock for them. You cared about them. It's almost like this person is experiencing some sort of loss, a difficult time period. And this person feels like no one is by their side right now. No one is by their side. They are all alone. And that is what is making this person miss you. Think about you. what know the deck we have two of pentacles and the lovers so you could be dealing with a gemini here but this person does feel a connection with you they do feel a connection with you and this person feels like it's they messed it up they messed it up it's almost like now that they don't have, they are experiencing this sort of pain going through this difficult period. Now this person feels like how you felt is what I got. So how, uh, what they put you through, this person is finally understanding that because they are experiencing that abandonment. They are experiencing loneliness. Uh, they feel out in the cold. Two and five of pentacles. You already have the three of pentacles here. So three of pentacles repeated twice. For some of you, this person... Yeah, this person... Okay, for some of you, this person literally ran away from you and uh, went towards someone else. They already had someone else in their mind and that is why they ghosted you. That is why they were doing the in and out thing because they already had someone and that is where they went. Um, it it's, might not be for everyone, but this person had someone. They went there and that person didn't work out things things didn't work out with that person or that person abandoned your person here and hence this person is experiencing what they put you through some sort of loss this person is experiencing and now they finally understand what they they have put you through and now they also finally understand how much how how good it was between the both of you they finally see you as a soulmate like you meant something for them. They're finally regretting how they treated you. Is it too dark? I don't think so. King of Wands. Well, oh. yeah, this uh, they feel that you have taken back your power. You're not holding back. You're not. It's almost like you're not holding back. You're not second guessing yourself. It's very possible you. That's what I got the term second guessing. So you could have second guessed yourself, but this person sees you as someone who's not second guessing. You, like you are not second guessing yourself anymore. You have the confidence. You have taken back your power and you have that confidence and you are moving towards what you truly want. If you 
you are very focused on securing the bag, like you are actually working on your money, you are actually working on your stability, you are going after the your dreams and everything here, then this person literally, um, some, uh, what I got is this person knows. I don't know what they know here. They, they know what you are doing, I guess. They know what you are doing. Yeah, they don't. They, they know what you're doing. So if you're achieving things here, if you're going after things, this person is very aware of that. It's almost like you're not sitting around and you, it's, it's this energy of you are not showing signs of being affected. You are no, not showing signs of being uh, broken down here. That, that's the energy. Now the seven of swords in reverse and the devil here. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. Hmm. Well, it's almost this energy of this person thinks that you definitely see them as a toxic person, as a toxic connection, as a toxic person. But here's the thing, it's it's this energy of this person feels that you are not holding any grudge against them. It's, it's like you're forgiving them. You're forgiving and letting them go. Not to mention you're not even focused on them. Because look at how the King of Wands has turned. His back is turned from this devil here. You're forgiving them. You're not in the like you're not holding any grudge. You you don't have any uh, negative emotions for this person. It's almost like I got the term alchemy. So this person, whatever they put you through, you are looking at that as oh this was this was a lesson. This was a lesson. I I so you turned that pain into gold. That that sort of an energy here. Yeah, look at that. Bottom of the deck is Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, and Temperance, and the Chariot, Hierophant. You have learned your lesson. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Taurus here, or a Sagittarius. But yeah, three major Arcanas, one after the other, and two Aces. Yeah, you are definitely have having a new beginning. And not to mention, whatever this person was doing, again, Ace of Swords is clarity. Ace, Ace of Swords is clarity of mind. No more confusion. Being able to see things crystal clear. And that's what this person feels. Like you have finally seen them. Seen everything about them. And yeah, temperance. It's almost like you're healing yourself by forgiving them. They see you as someone who's very patient and cool and calm. It's almost like you are not... They, they don't see you as someone who is holding any grudge, any anger against them. It's also very possible this person was waiting for some sort of reaction from you or some some response from you, some reaction for you. They were waiting for that, but they, they, this person didn't get that. So now this person almost sees you in a very, very different light. Because as I said, you could have you could have been a little impulsive in the past because you really wanted to be with this person, rushed into things and therefore missed out certain things about this person but this person right now sees you as someone you're not in a, you're not in a rush you're you are very cool here and collected and calm and composed is what i heard and you are balancing uh, things in your life and you want connections that are balanced you're not looking for any sort of drama in your life you're not looking for any conflict you're looking for peace Peace of mind and a healthy, balanced connection. And you have learned your lesson with the Hierophant. You have learned your lesson here. And you're much more mature. Like you are a mature uh, person right now. Not to mention, look at that Hierophant, High Priestess, Chariot. On the Chariot, we have the Emperor sitting and we have the Empress here. The masculine, Balancing the masculine and feminine energies. All right. Okay.
Oh. You could be dealing with a Scorpio here. Yeah, this is someone who definitely tried to run away from this. have the high priestess in reverse page of cups magician ace of cups uh, this was at the bottom of the deck this these four were, the, were at the bottom of the deck well this is someone who wants to break the silence high priestess upright is silence no communication this is someone who wants to break the silence this is someone who wants you back Ace is all uh, uh, is about new beginning. This person definitely sees you as a wish fulfillment. They know uh, they want you back. The, they know they want you back. And the tower and the page of cups here. This is someone who wants to apologize or bring an offer. The only issue here is that five of swords, and combined with that magician here, this is not a good energy. Five of swords and magician is never a good energy. You could be dealing with a Gemini Virgo. If I didn't already mention that um this is five of swords and magician is like by hook or by crook i want to have leo no matter what means and measures is necessary i am going to apply that True intentions, by the way. <laughs> what a shocker. And I cut the deck randomly. We have the three of cups here. Page of wands, pages of messengers. Yeah, this look at that eight of cups. This person, and we did see the eight of cups at one point, didn't we? I think we did and i said that you are walking away you are moving on yeah this person wants to confess their love to you because they don't want you to walk away they do feel a connection with you they don't want you to walk away they feel miserable without you three and eight of cups five of cups in the mix they feel miserable without you not to mention two and eight of cups six of cups in the mix they definitely feel a connection with you they feel a soulmate connection with you. They feel like you are their soulmate. And these are positive cards. But then the five of swords and the magician, it's almost like, can you trust this? Can you trust this person? Do you trust this person? I don't think... I, 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 I think that you already know the answer because we do have the high priestess here. So I think you already know the answer. About should you trust this person or should you not? Because this is someone with a page of wands who will really try to flirt with you. Okay, wait and watch what this person is doing. They will uh, show you. They will show you if you can trust them or not. Yeah, bottom of the deck is abandoned, left out, walked away cold. Abandonment issues is what I said. Running, ghosting, disappearing, invisible. Hmm. Yeah, the intimacy. They miss that intimacy they shared with you. And no, this is not physical intimacy. This is the emotional intimacy here. 
Whoever this person ran to, again, as I did mention, could have been a third party for some of you. Whoever this person ran to, that, that person was, it, it, it didn't work with that person. Yes, look at that. It didn't work with this person. Incompatibility, differences, clashing, conflict. It didn't work out with that person. Because the intimacy was not there. The intimacy they had with you, it was not there with them. One day, some day, somewhere, another time. Yeah, this is not some, this is, sorry. This is someone who has not given up hope, hope on having you back. We also have uh, clinging, holding on, obsessing, spying. I did get that energy of this person knows what you are doing, what you are up to. So yeah, that is a spying energy. What else? All right, let's get this deck. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the distance between us is really getting to me. What do I do? Our bodies are new, but it feels like my soul has known your soul since lifetime. Soulmates, twin flame. The lover's card does talk about a uh, twin flame connection, but yeah. If you don't believe in that label, it's fine. This connection is stressing the F out of me. I will always be grateful to you for helping me see life differently. You opened my eyes. More than this is this being this person's energy, I feel like this is your energy. That's the feeling I got from that ca uh, card here. I understand everything clearly now. Can we just stop fighting and talk? Peaceful resolution. I know just saying I'm sorry won't be enough this time, but I do want to apologize. So it's, it's very possible this person has done this before, like hot and cold in and out. Yeah. I can't help but compare everyone I meet with you. So if this person was with someone else, they sort of always used to compare that person, compare you with that person. What would Leo do? Leo was different. That sort of a thing. That is why this person couldn't walk away or move, move on. Someday we are going to have a family together. Yeah, this person hasn't given up. Hope that this can be fixed. Well, that's your reading, Leo. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.